Hello everybody, I will start. The weather is like beautiful weather. I would like to show you this area. This area is like south, near the city of Yavne. It's open, you can see on the horizon, big ships. Um, the silver, the beaches have some rocks. So when one coming, all this area, one coming with a boat at night, we need to be very, very careful. Um, some of the sea have rocky activity there, rocks. And so one must know what he's doing. You can't just come in and uh, just come to the beach. Your Father is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. There is like a life safeguard here. You can see the Hebrew called Chof Palmachim. They have a beautiful store here when you can buy everything. I just got me a coffee. We have benches and the terrain. And to many of you, time to go to nature, time to enjoy what you have while you're alive on the planet Earth. Many of you will be healed if you go out. If you go out, you hike, you go to the beach, you go to the sea. It's not cost some time, barely nothing, uh, but you can enjoy yourself. So, uh, God has given us a natural body and he gave us a spiritual mean. The spirit of the living God is very strong in us, inside us because we are, uh, we are from another world. We are from the kingdom of heaven. So the powers of heaven that the Lord has given us, he gave all power been given unto me. We are the body of the Lord, Yeshua, and he is our head. And uh, we are believers. And in heavenly garden, Adam and Eve and fell. God command, ate fruit. The serpent came, deceived them. So in your life, you have much, much um, areas that you will be attacked with deception, confusion, torment, shuddering in your mind. I'm not clear of it. I'm like you, human being. I also have the Holy Spirit in me, Ruach HaKodesh. And don't think that I'm not attacked. And that's why I thank you for your prayer and thank you for the intercessory that you're doing for me. Uh, I always need uh, encouragement in every level, in every level, and so um, I ride by the front of the open sea, as I told you it's not very far from the marina of Ashkelon and Ashdod, this is all Philistine cities which David the king needed to fight with, with Samuel the prophet and Shaul uh, the king. And so. This is an area, Philistia, which start from here, down, and the god of these areas here was half fish, half man, called Dagon, in Greek called Dionysus, Abacus, and different things. It's the god of the wine. So, most likely, those people, even when they go to war, they use a lot of alcohol, and to some of you that you got bound by alcohol and drugs, this is the right place to bind the power of alcohol over your life in the name of Yeshua. Break those forces, drugs, marijuana, substance, different thing around the world. You're getting loose right now in Yeshua's name from this habitual uh, obsession of using drugs. I want to tell you something. If you believe that Yeshua died and rose from the dead, confess it with your mouth and believe in your heart. Receive that, that he is the Messiah and the Lord of Lords. You will be saved in Yeshua's name and you will be healed. So you need to be healed from anything that is obsession in your life. Some obsessed to sex, some obsessed to sport, some obsessed to drugs and some obsessed to alcohol and some obsessed this called spirit of obsession and I break it over you in Yeshua's name today worldwide because you need to be 
not drunken with wine and substance. You need to be alerted at all times because we're in the end time. And it's very, very important. Be sober, be vigilant, knowing that there's a devil, as a roaring lion. Go just about he and me devour. Satan wants to devour you. He wants to devour your properties. He wants to devour your money. Satan come to kill, to steal, and to destroy, and that's how he came to Adam and Eve. He is a liar. He's the father of all lies, and you need to know that. And this is not to play with. This is not to play with fire. Sins open the door to Satan and to demonic power, and you need to be very careful about it. So, what I want to say right now, as the sea coming and not have much, much, much wind, so you need to have calmness in your life, especially me. What I want to say right now to you, when they fall in heavenly garden, there was needed to be a perfect sacrifice, a lamb without blame, and John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who take the sins of the world. Nothing can take sins. Nothing can wipe away sin, bondage, and imprisonment. As the blood of Yeshua is the Lamb of God. So he came. God so loved the world that he gave his begotten Son. Whosoever believe on him shall not perish but have eternal life. You need to have life eternal. You're living temporal on this world. You're living here now, in being given and learn the time that God has given you, and there will be time when you will go and be in heaven in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. So, it's easy to come with big sheep. It's easy to come with big vessels. To this, by the way, this was place that people dropped, people that came from Europe and other country in 1948, and the, the kibbutzim near hereby was a refuge for those people. They hide them and they pretend that they're working in a kibbutz or whatever. And when they came from overseas, change clothes real quick and go to eat in the dining room. And this area being a refuge, and this area is a refuge area. And um, so you're saying, why are you telling us all that? Well, I won't tell you first of all, that the entire land of Israel and Israel is a refuge. Now, that's why Satan hated so much because he wanted to attack it day by night. Like he attacked other countries that was refuge in Europe. So he won't attack us now just when God releasing you. Many of you is from the 10 tribe and the Judean tribe. You have assimilated with other people. Some of you even disappeared in a church, in churches and all kind of activity, even in the occult. And it's time to let Abba pick us up on his hand, hug us and kiss us and bring us to his land. And so this is one of the entrance. This is one of the gates. There was in early time gate for the country when they brought all those wounded and beaded people from Europe after the Second World War. And I want to say the British did not allow the people to come to the beach. They confiscate the sheep and they took the people to concentration camp in Cyprus and other places. So I want to say right now, now is the time to be awake. Now is the time to start to get instruction. And now is the time to come while you can come with some of the things that you still have. But later on, it's going to be very serious. When a person runs on his life, the Lord said, do not look back. Do not go back when that trouble shall come. Do not go back to your house. He said two women should be in the middle, one will be taken. And at that time, do not go back to the house to take what belongs to you. Just flee. And you don't want to be in a place like that when you don't even go to pick up your shirts or your jeans. So I invite you to Israel while you can. I invite you to the land while you're capable of doing that. And um, uh, some came, they're now training to sail uh, yachts and boats. They're in Europe, and they already came here for three months, and they're going in the train right now. So, there is a spirit that want to keep people grounded. There is a spirit that want person taxes, payment, a spirit of bondage, which should not go and let you go. And even when you're ready to go, there will be all kind of an attack. And for that, I pray for you right now, blessed be the name of the living God, that all attacks against you will be quiet destroyed under my feet. I bind them and I break the power in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. 
continue to pray for the soldiers in the front line here, people the wounded, people that have been kidnapped in the south side here, not very far. And you can come on a cruise to Israel. There's a cruise ship there right now, or ferry, ferry. You know that I have few people that came on ferry here to Israel, ferry. They just came on a ferry without a car and a camp. And the ferry went to Ashdod, there is some terminal there, and you can come on a ferry too. I don't know how is that work, but I maybe we'll find out. The rest, we need to come on vessels. We need to come on different vessels, big and small, which I have a meeting, I want you to pray for me tomorrow concerning that. And uh, I ask you to help me in pray. Please, we don't need to tell you, you know by yourself that whatever been sown in corruption should be corrupted. You know the need, I told you the need, that we need vessels, houses near beaches, and houses near marinas, and houses near water bodies, in Europe, and other countries, in America, in Australia. I just talked with Australian sea state, she's wonderful. And um, she's gonna help. And people from all over the world helping us to be ready. So get ready, my friend. Father God, there is a word of knowledge. I see you. There is a man, they have a 42 vessels or something like that. And it stands and you pay mooring. Also in France, different countries, in Europe, you have a vessel that become a burden for you because you also become elderly. There is a woman, a husband passed away. You have a vessel like that. I saw a case like that in Greece in the past. All over the world, corporations, businesses, high-tech people. I like you really, really to come in the great, great, great project of bringing the saints, the people, the Jews, and the people that don't know even who they are. Let them start to search the roots. I invite you to Israel. We will try to take care about you as the best to our knowledge. You need, first of all, to walk the land in the wheat and the land of it, like Abraham, and read chapter 12 in the book of Genesis, please. Then we will discuss it and make homework in the school of a prophet. I love you very much. There is a person that has a problem with urinating uh, order, with his prostate, and, uh, and uh, there is also women like that, and other people that have been hit, uh, and I pray total healing, mending, and I want to give a press report. A person called me that the son been healed totally, and different people, people get out of hospital, People get out of clinics, people get out of even house care and getting miraculous healed to this program. Please multiply those videos worldwide. Tell people about them. Hallelujah, blessed be the name of God. And teach your children to swim. Get them to school of swim. Teach your children to make a skipper license and let them learn sea ways. And we need equipment. We need a saving equipment. We need uh, like uh, air, air rubber boats to our safety if something happens. Small engine, if anybody can get his hand and can finance for us uh, those small uh, rubber boats that can go to the uh, beach real quick and other mean. I saw some in Germany already. I've been with the pastor and I saw them in Germany. Please help us. We needed equipment. May God bless you, keep you, shine upon you. Take all the time the children to the beach, teach them sea sport. They need to know how to deal with the wave. They need to know how to deal with things. And uh, come quickly to the land. Lord, come quickly. You carry the Lord in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. You are the body of the Lord. And the Lord directs us to a certain direction. And that's what I do in a country, all the time going around. Um, um, there is a person that has some problem in the throat. You're getting healed right now. In Yeshua's name, I give you praise. I give you glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Kidney heal right now in Yeshua's name. There is a people that have a cancer in the end of your pipe. God is healing you now. You have tumor, the small tumor. It will be okay. Don't be afraid. Um, to all the women, they're sleeping in car, sleeping in houses that don't belong to them. They've been divorced. They've been separated. Don't lose courage. 
Also, same with men. If you feel that you lost everything, uh, it's a time to move. If you feel that you cannot get a job, it's a time to move. If you feel that something is wrong, time to move. In Yeshua name, Amen. I call you to Israel. God bless you. Now I'm going to dip my feet in the Mediterranean Sea to feel that beautiful salt. And God bless you. I will dip my feet. Look at those. Washingtonian. Look at the sun that came. Look at the color. Look at the uh, cloud. Uh, look at the plane. And while jet passing us and landing in this here the area, you know, and we in the midst of a barrel here, jets coming from Lebanon, we are sitting in total tranquility here, peace by the beach, and enjoy sundown. God bless you. Peace be with you. Grace be multiplied to your life. In Yeshua name, amen. Here's the jet coming from a mission. And we're sitting in Joseph by the beach. God bless you. Pray, pray for those pilots. In Yeshua name.